Hello, welcome to the Sharpshooter, Valve's vision-based sensor. The Sharpshooter is a new view on error proofing and it's a great tool for simple vision sensing. As you can see here, the Sharpshooter has a compact housing, it has a built-in lens and LED ring light with an adjustable focus ring and lock. It is Ethernet based and network enabled. As you can see here, there's two M12 connectors, the Ethernet connection and then the power and I.O. connection. The sensor has four LED status indicators on the top, indicating power, two output connections, and then Ethernet connectivity. As you can see from the top and the side, there are a variety of installations and configurations to mount the sensor where it need be. When ready to start an inspection, we have a couple of options to choose from. We can open an inspection saved on a camera or the PC, or if we wish to start a new inspection, we will select Online next to the number 1. After we have done this, a pop-up instruction window appears and asks us to either find or connect to a specific sensor. Here we will choose Find and click on OK. Once we do this, the software pings all sensors on the network and displays them on the control panel on the right-hand side of the software. We then choose the sensor that we wish to connect to and click Connect. Back to number one, and here we select New Inspection. Now we need to adjust the camera to ensure that we have the part within the camera's field of view and that the part is in focus, in addition that we have ample lighting. Once this is determined, we will want to click Set Reference Image button. We are now done with step number one. As you may notice, the software automatically progresses you to step two. Here we select tools within the software to analyze the image we just captured. First you can select your trigger tool. Here we'll be continuously capturing images, so we'll select continuous. Next we'll select a locator tool. A locator can be used to compensate for part movement within the field of view. There are two locator tools available to us, and they are position and pattern match. Just a reminder, the use of the locator is optional. We then select a control tool. A control is the individual inspection or measurement. The BBS has seven controls to choose from, and they are brightness, contrast, contour match, edge count, width, pattern match, and position. Once a control has been selected, drag the icon onto the image over the desired inspection area. In the control panel on the right hand side, you may also adjust the parameters of the tool to optimize performance. Now that we've determined the tools necessary to perform the inspection, we can progress to number three. Here we can configure the outputs test your inspection either on or offline, and run your inspection, if online, to acquire statistical information and to save the inspection. Up to 32 tools may be used per job, and up to 8 jobs can be stored in the sensor and a limited number of jobs may be saved on a PC. BBS Convis software interface. The software has an intuitive set menu with an easy three-step process. Minimum vision knowledge is needed here to run the software for all your vision applications. In the first step, we set up the inspection in the image. Number two, in the second step, we select and configure the tools. And finally, in the third step, we set up the outputs and execute the program.